my channel and if you're new what up so you guys i'm bringing out my current favorites and this favorites is actually long overdue because a lot of these products have been my favorite since like february but i'm just now getting around to making a favorites video and talking about them and i have so many different things here i have hair care skin care body care uh makeup fragrance y'all know how i like to do i like to talk about any and everything that i've been loving in this type of video so i'm gonna let y'all know now i'm gonna be jumping around because like i said i have all different categories and i really want to talk about the products that have really like either made a difference or i've really seen a big change in my routine when i use these products so i'm gonna be jumping around from body care to skincare to makeup to fragrance so um i'm gonna just get started talking about the first product so this is the camille rose cocoa nibs and honey ultimate strength serum so you would have saw me talk about this already in my empties video or maybe not because i'm not sure which order these videos are going to be going up in but i did already finish off a bottle of this and i told y'all that i would report back to y'all if i were to like see any results with this product and i am happy to report back that i have definitely seen growth with this product especially on my kids hair because i oil their scalp like every other day and they've been going to get their hair done more regularly and even their stylist has commented on how long their hair is getting so like i said we went through a full bottle and that bottle took us about three months to get through so um um, this is the new formula though like i mentioned in that video they changed the formula and a lot of people are saying that the newer formula is not the same we will have to see about that one so i'm showing y'all my new bottle which i have started using a little bit it's like down to here so we will see and again i will report back to y'all on if the new formula is the same as the old formula but i'm letting y'all know that i have seen a big difference in that in myself as well as in my kids now the next product i'm going to mention is coming from a small business owner now this is from amber biju and she used to actually make youtube videos here on youtube i posted about her brand in the community tab but i'm mentioning this product right here so this is the bucket naked beauty balm and this is a dry salve so it says deeply hydrating and healing beauty balm made with aloe and moroccan argan oil now listen this product right here is thick like th 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 thick like she is so good though and it smells amazing this smells like a cross between like a bubble gummy fresh scent this smells amazing and it definitely is deeply hydrating and nourishing on the skin like you only need a little bit of this product it's almost like vaseline you only need a little bit of this product it's going to give you a nice sheen a nice glow i use this on myself i use this on my son like this is definitely for the people with dry skin but it is so good it smells so good it definitely leaves a nice glow behind and i just feel nourished when i use this so that's really good definitely had to mention that y'all i have to mention these two skincare products so the first one is one that my best friend put me on to she's always put me on to something this is the rock multi-correction hydrate and plump moisturizer sunscreen broad spectrum spf 30 i feel like i've already talked about this product but if i haven't then y'all are seeing it now and if i have oh well i'm mentioning it again so y'all know i like to use a moisturizer that already has spf in it because i'm very big on my spf since i use a lot of chemicals on my skin this right here is so good i have oily skin and this is very hydrating and it does leave a nice sheen on the skin but it actually sinks in like if you give it time to sit it actually sinks into the skin and that sheen kind of goes away but this is very moisturizing and you definitely want to moisturize your skin if you're oily because that's what keeps your skin from producing as much oil this product is amazing i really really do enjoy this and i love that i'm protecting my skin i put it over my face my ears my neck everywhere so really have been loving this product i needed a new like facial moisturizer that had spf that one has been a good one and then the next skincare product i have is from the ordinary this is their lactic acid plus ha so i started back using this product i had took lactic acid out of my skincare routine for a few months because i felt like i didn't need it anymore because my skin was nice and smooth i didn't have any bumps i used to get comments on how smooth my skin was all the time i feel like ever since i moved from arizona to georgia my skin has been a lot more congested and i've had a lot more bumps popping up you know i still get compliments on how smooth my skin is quite literally i just went to the nail shop the other day and then the person and commented on how smooth my skin was i wasn't even wearing makeup that day and they commented on how smooth my skin was and they said that i must have had a very good skincare routine so that compliments like that make me feel good about like my routine but i do feel like my skin has been a lot more congested ever since i moved here so i decided to reintroduce lactic acid into my skincare routine because i know for a fact that that product works very very well for my skin and so far so good the bumps have been lessening so with time you can see i haven't used that much of this product but with time i know that my skin will go back to being as baby bottom smooth as it used to be so love that product um now i'm going to mention two makeup products 
products, y'all. Listen, okay? If you just watched my most recent makeup tutorial, it's my full face of current favorites. I definitely spoke about these two products and I'm gonna keep talking about these. I'm gonna keep raving about these because I cannot stop using these. The first time I mentioned these products was on my community tab and I think I mentioned them back in like the beginning of February. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer and this is the YSL All Hours Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I have mine in the shade DN3. Y'all, these products together are amazing, immaculate, beautiful, magnificent, like all of the above, holy grail status. This one definitely blurs my skin. It mattifies. It keeps my skin mattified. It makes my skin feel soft and look smooth. And then when I put this foundation on top, it just takes it to a whole nother level. Like this is the perfect combination for if you had like any special formal events, photo shoots, anything important going on where you need your skin to look amazing, this would be the combo for you. It works so amazingly well on oily skin. I'm telling y'all, like... This is a heavy duty combo. And the crazy thing is the YSL All Hours Foundation is so lightweight on the skin. It never feels heavy. It never looks cakey. Y'all know I use three pumps of this. This is a full coverage foundation. And I'm able to use three pumps because it's so liquidy and lightweight on the skin. It doesn't even feel heavy when I use three pumps. But that combination has been my go-to foundation combination. Like my base always just looks so good when I use that product. I'm not wearing it today, but definitely check out my last video if you want to see how that looks on my skin. Okay, and then keeping with the makeup, I have three mascaras here to mention to you boys. I have three mascaras to mention. If you guys have been noticing, I haven't been wearing that many false eyelashes in my videos. Like if you go back to my recent videos, I haven't, I've been off and on like wearing false lashes and that's because of these mascaras right here. Like there's just days where I don't feel like putting on lashes and these mascaras are gonna get me right every time. So the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, this has been a cult favorite for a minute and I don't know why I never tried it. But I'm on the bandwagon now, like sis, I, I see y'all, okay? I see why y'all love this one so much. This is gonna give you crazy length and separation. Like it's unreal. The length is just like, it's crazy, okay? Cause like I put this mascara on and my lashes be touching my crease, okay? That's how long this mascara makes my lashes so pretty and it never gets clumpy either like i said it separates really really nice and then i have the Too faced better than sex mascara and this is the chocolate version a mascara a brown mascara i never knew i needed y'all know they've been making brown mascara for years they've been making brown mascara since my mom was using like the maybelline great lash okay so brown mascara is nothing new but I never knew I needed brown mascara. This looks so good for every day, especially when you do more of those like warm matte eye looks. This looks amazing over the top of a really warm matte eyeshadow look for every day. And I have been obsessed with it. So then we have the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Okay, and then we have the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Like this plain little tube of mascara. It pretty much reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara brush, like the one is almost the same like that hourglass shape but something about this formula is different i really thoroughly enjoy this mascara this one gives me length but it gives me a whole lot of volume as well it makes my lashes look really really thick and full and voluminous and luxurious and typically i'm one to go for length over volume just because my eyelashes are so short but this one gives me both and it just like it balances out it looks so so pretty so absolutely love that mascara and then i have some lip products y'all I cannot, I cannot rave about this product enough. I have not talked about it in a video yet, but I definitely left a review on Ulta's website because this is the clear gloss you never knew you needed. Forget the beauty supply clear gloss, forget MAC clear gloss. This is the clear gloss that you need in your life. This is the Fenty Beauty Ice Gloss Balm. Y'all, like, it, I can't even wrap my mind around it. So when I use this, I typically don't put it over the top of lip looks like this because I want to keep this as pristine and as clean as possible. I do not want to mix this in with other products. I do not want the formula to change because this formula is perfect the way that it is. This makes your lips look so incredibly glossy and full and thick and glass-like and plumped up and juicy. This is not even considered a plumping gloss, but because it has that pepperminty, icy like formula, it just naturally makes your lips look plump. I'm telling y'all, I have been on FaceTime with so many people and I've been wearing this gloss and they are literally distracted by my lips. They're like, yo, I can't even pay attention to what you're saying because your lips look so good. Like I always 
always, always, always get compliments. You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on right now. I'm gonna just put it on. I'm gonna just put it on. So I just wipe some and put it on my finger and then put it on my lips. And I ain't gonna even, I'm gonna just let y'all like witness this for y'all self because like, do y'all see this? Do y'all see how it instantly, like my lips just look so juicy now. They look so fat and so thick and it's like, y'all this is the gloss the clear gloss you never knew you needed i'm telling y'all like just go ahead and buy it another product that i've been obsessing over this is the dior lip maximizer serum so this is an intense hyaluronic lip care product so this is supposed to give you like extreme moisture before you put on your actual lip product so the same way you put a serum on your face when you're doing your skincare you're supposed to put this on your lips before you put on your actual lip products and it's supposed to basically do the same thing that a serum does for your skin it's supposed to plump up your lips make them look hydrated make them look soft and pillowy make them look uh less dehydrated and like liney and oh yeah speaking of which like do y'all see how the lines in my lips went away once i added that clear gloss like it just does it all it's everything like you need it anywho <laughs> back to this product so yes this is supposed to get rid of lines and make your lips look more plump and i can attest to that the only thing that i don't like about this product y'all see how milky it is it looks like that on your lips so if your lips are a little bit more pigmented or brown or if you're a darker skin tone this is going to look really milky on your lips but because you're using it as like a treatment product you're not walking out the house with this on your lips anyway and then after wearing it for so long it actually sinks into your lips and like it actually moisturizes your lips from the inside out so you don't have to worry about it looking milky like that for a long period of time okay and then speaking of fenty as well i have both of the um fenty glow glosses but i have the heat and then i have the og so i repurchased the og just because i was missing this shade listen there's so many dupes for this shade but i always go back to the original because the original is that girl yes i can dupe it out with other glosses and yes other glosses are very comparable to this one but you know what like i stand on this that fenty is really the go fenty really is the go and i definitely love my other glosses that try and dupe this shade and everything i still am a fan of those glosses i still will purchase those glosses but listen the fenty og fenty glow this is that girl and always will be that girl so i needed it back into my collection and i've been super happy ever since i bought it i've been using it constantly and then the fenty heat formula like this is everything y'all know i love me a good plumping gloss one thing i'm gonna do is buy a plumping gloss and this fenty heat does not disappoint i actually got this one in a set during the holidays so it was like a no-brainer for me to buy the set but this one i love the way that it tingles on my lips so it doesn't give like a super super intense sensation like my Too Faced lip injection extreme but it's intense enough for me to see a difference and i absolutely love the color of it so that's just it just had to be a favorite you know what i'm saying like i've been using it constantly non-stop okay so let's get back into some body care let me show y'all these three body sprays that i've been obsessed with which y'all already know if y'all have been paying attention y'all already know what they are um one of them is actually in my project use it up i haven't talked about this one but this is endless weekend y'all i have been obsessed with this spray and y'all are actually getting a little spoiler into my project use it up because my line is right here and y'all can see we're down to here so i've been using this one and really enjoying it so i've always enjoyed endless weekend as a fragrance but i just hadn't used it in so long but this is beautiful and surprisingly i've been pairing it with giorgio armani c passione compliment getter i definitely got compliments on this got told that i smell really really good um giorgio armani c passione is a really really nice fruity fragrance this one smells like donna born in roma like initially when you first smell it and when you first spray it but this one has a fruitier fresher like shampooy take so it's not as deep and sweet and sexy as born in roma but this one is super good and i've been loving it with endless weekend and that's how i've been wearing it and then we have ice lemon pound cake of course i've been loving this one because it's just so gourmand and sweet and good i wore this one last night it just smells like such a treat and a snack and everything Every time i wear this i get happy because y'all know how i feel about margot Marlon fragrances so that one is definitely a favorite and then we have watermelon mojito this is another one that is from my project use it up that you're getting a spoiler on my marking actually rubbed off but it was up to here and we all the way down here because watermelon mojito is just one of my faves this is like an easy reach throw on fragrance for warm weather because of how refreshing and cooling it smells it's like watermelon soda so it's just yummy 
it's just really, really good. So definitely been enjoying that. I'm also going to show you guys this Hip Hop Parade Cottontail Cake Pop Hand Soap. Again, if you watched my empties video, you would have saw that this was in my empties video. So I'm showing y'all a brand new bottle. But I love this little hand soap. Again, you would have saw this in my empties video, but I'm talking about it again. And I'm showing y'all a brand new bottle. I love this little hand soap. So it's supposed to smell like a cake pop. And to me, it definitely smells like cake batter and sprinkles. It's so, so yummy. And I'm actually glad I have this backup because we actually just finished the other one for Easter. But that one is so good. I I love that one. Would definitely repurchase that one. Um, another perfume that I have absolutely been loving, obviously, has been my Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. This is just that girl. Period. Like, there's nothing more I can say about this. It smells so freaking good to me. It definitely smells like an intense version of Born in Roma with the addition of that amber and them playing up the bourbon vanilla note and that benzoin. Like, it definitely smells like a more intense version and I can't get enough of it. I'm obsessed. I love it. This Kiehl's lotion, another recommendation by my best friend. So I bought this because she said this is such a thick, moisturizing, nourishing lotion and thick it is, okay? This is thick, thick, okay? Um, but it's not too thick to where it's like, like heavy to rub in or it's too much to rub in it's not like that and this definitely like dries once it dries on your skin you instantly feel nourished and moisturized so this is definitely a really good moisturizer especially during the winter time i feel like that's when i'm going to get the most use out of it but i've also been using this on my son as well my youngest son he has like really dry skin so this one has actually been doing really really good on his skin I would much rather enjoy this during the winter time. So um, I do really like this and I bought it on sale. That's the only time I would recommend buying that product because it's definitely one of the more expensive ones. Same thing for the next product that I'm about to mention. If you can get this on sale or use Ulta points with this, I would highly recommend that. I got it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so it was half off. This is the L'Occitane Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil. So this smells like fresh almonds. It's a very clean, almondy type of scent. Y'all, this is super nice, okay? Like, I never really use, like, an actual in-shower oil that actually cleanses you. So, I've used oils in the shower, but it wasn't a cleansing oil. And I've used oils outside of the shower, but this one actually cleanses your skin, and then it's moisturizing and softening your skin at the same time so that when you rinse it off, you still feel like you moisturize your skin. So, with this one, when I get out of the shower, I don't feel like I need to go in with another oil. So, I can just put on my scented lotion. So, I really like that about this product. Speaking of oil, I'm going to mention this one. So this is the Cocoa Pink Coconut Oil. Now, typically, this is the oil that I would use once I get out of the shower. But as you guys can see, I've only put a little small dent in this product because I've been using this one so much. Y'all can see the dent in this one. And like I said, because I use this one and when I get out of the shower, I don't feel like I need to go in with another oil because this is so softening and smoothing and nourishing on my skin. I have not been reaching for this one. I've just been going straight in with my Scented Body lotions so that just goes to show how great this product is but i would still highly 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 recommend the pink cocoa oil this one is going to feel like an oil on your skin so this is not one of those dry oils that like as soon as you put it on your skin it absorbs instantly no this one is definitely got that oil texture this one is definitely going to leave that oily sheen on your skin but not in a bad way like this doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like a film on your skin it just kind of feels like a nourishing oil like a body oil you know what i'm saying and i also think that that nourishing glow that it leaves behind is perfect for warm weather when we're showing off a lot more skin and we want to look like glowing bronze goddesses so i definitely think that this is a really great oil to be using like all year round actually i think it's nourishing enough for the winter time but then for the summer it's going to give you that nice little glow okay uh, so the last two products i have to mention are products that i was i was using together until i used this one up so this is the suave wild cherry blossom gentle body wash and i was using it with the dove cherry and chia bar soap these two together was like a perfect little spring shower routine it just made me feel really invigorated and refreshed in the shower i really enjoyed both of these products together so because i still have two more of these bar soaps i'm probably going to repurchase the suave body wash the next time i go to walmart so that i can start back using these two together because this was so pretty like the scent itself was so pretty in the shower like i highly 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 enjoyed these it was a nice break away from like my gourmand fragrances so i really enjoyed this and it's in my empties now, but I will repurchase it. But I will repurchase it, like I said. Okay, so I'm looking around and I think that's it. I think that's it, you guys. I talked really fast throughout this video, but I gave y'all a lot of products, a lot of bomb products. So 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed hearing me talk about these products i love doing my current favorites so if y'all enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed it if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace